Well, how are we doing out there? I hope you're all absolutely spot on. And thank you very much for watching the video. Now I've been shopping. I've been to Tesco and Asda. Come and have a look what I got. We have to do this, don't we? Another comparison. You lovely people have been requesting them, so I've got to, I've got to do them. Uh, and I think this is an interesting one because of the prices. I went to Asda and I bought this beef lasagna. Uh, it's just essentials and it's 400 grams, a little traffic light system. There is a serving suggestion. So I went to Tesco, exclusively at Tesco. Hearty food company, lasagna. Rich and tasty beef lasagna topped with melted white cheese. And there is the traffic light system. And look at that serving suggestion. Ooh, ho, ho. Now there is a difference in price. The Asda is 90 pence and the Tesco is 75 pence. So if my maths are correct, <laughs> that is 15 pence cheaper, the Tesco one is. So we've got to see what they like, the two budget lasagnas. We've got to do a comparison. So let's have a look at the boxes. I'll do a little side by side. There is a little traffic light system here, look. And that is what is in them. So, oh, you all right, girls? Just doing a video. <laughs> My girls are trying to come in. If you have a look at the salt content on the Asda, it's 2.1 grams of salt and it's in the red. If you have a look at the Tesco, it's 1.4. So it's less, isn't it? The sugars are 9.1 and the sugars are 11.7. So one's got more salt and one's got more sugar. 455 calories and that's 430 calories. So there's more calories in this one. We'll have a look at the ingredients. It's half term and my girls are in there painting. So I've got one, one eye on this and one eye on them. <laughs> if you have a look at the ingredients there, there's a few allergens in the Tesco, which is the green one. We've got wheat, milk, um, and that is it, wheat and milk. Um, beef is 14% look. Let's have a look at the Asda one. Um, a beef is 14%. It says there, it says minced beef. And the allergens are wheat and milk. So there's not much in, in them at, at all, really, is there? And they're both 400 grams. There's a little IE747EC sticker there. And let's have a look on the Asda one. IE747 on the Asda one as well. We'll just check on that because I've just jumped the gun again. Let's have a look at the cooking instructions. You do them in the oven from frozen, which this is. 200 degrees, fan 180, gas 6, 45 minutes. Or you can microwave it, look. Nine minutes or eight and a half, depending on the wattage of your microwave. Let's see if you can do this with this one as well. The Asda. Um, microwave from frozen or oven cook. You can do them both, depends, whatever suits you. Let's get them open. You get a little tab system here with the Asda one. Although I don't really use the old tab system, I'll be honest. Let's get them open, let's have a look and see what we've got. Well, that's, that's, that's how it is, look. They're all thrown together, look. <laughs> All thrown together with love, of course. Let's get into the and the box looks better on that one than the Tesco's, doesn't it? It just does the yellow that just it's that, that looks a lot, you know, it's drawing you in, isn't it? It's in a nice dish. I know you don't, it doesn't come in a dish. Is there a little tab system on this Tesco one? Yeah, there is. Ooh, tab systems. I'll sleep a lot better tonight, I really will. So let's not get these mixed up. Well, we can't actually, because the Asda one's got sort of the old red cheese on and that, and the Tesco's got white cheese, but that's thrown together with love as well. Similar containers. <laughs> also as well, I do like garlic bread when I have my lasagna, I really do. I'm gonna get these on a baking tray. I'm gonna get them in the center of the oven on 180, fan 180 for 40 to 45 minutes. I'm going to do some washing now and some hoovering and I will bring you back when they're done. Forgot to say, you've got to remove these as well if you're going to do them in the oven. <laughs> so let's do a seal peel test. Little tab system there, look, let's have a look. 
Yeah, this is the Asda. Oh no, it's oh, it's, it's sort of passed because it's not too much hard work getting it off. It's all come off. So it's it's, it's well, it, it failed because it, it it bust. Let's try the Tesco one. Remember, the Tesco's got white cheese and the Asda's got oh oh well, it, it sort of did a bit better than the Asda, but. It's left a bit on the end here, but that'll just peel off. Look, oh, that's satisfying. Really is. Right, I'll bring you back hopefully when they're done. There they are, look. So I've got a little bit of channel news. While they're in there cooking or warming through, uh, well, they're actually cooking, aren't they? I'll, I've got some channel news and I'd like to just say thanks to every, each and one, each, every one of you. <laughs> It's been crazy. This last month has been an absolute roller coaster, and it keeps going like that. And I've I've gone over forty nine thousand lovely, lovely people out there, foodies who've joined the channel and been watching. And the way things are going, um, I do apologise. I've got the I've got some washing on on there. I can't pause it. It's in mid spin. The way things are going, I'm going to be getting to the 50,000 mark by the weekend and if if that is so, I will be going live this Friday night at 8 o'clock for a 50,000 lovely foodie party and I'm got, I've got a few quizzes, we'll have a quiz and I am not drinking, it will be booze free for me but you obviously, you can, you know, uh, get them in and enjoy yourself and I will be enjoying myself it just I won't be having a drink but that is the plan it really is uh, the way things are going it's a green light for Friday night live um, so yeah so thanks very much very much for watching right I'm gonna um, I'm gonna bring you back when these are done I've had it in the oven now for 45 minutes and the tops aren't getting brown so I've had to resort to putting them under the grill just to brown the tops off. Now I thought they'd brown up being in the oven. Um, anyway, I'll bring it back when these are nice and brown. They're done, there's the Tesco one. Now, I mean, I had to finish it off under the, the grill. Um, so if you have to do that with them, I mean, I, I, how long do you leave them in the oven for this before they start, start browning? I did them for the required time. Um, and if that's the case, you might as well do them in the microwave and finish them off under the grill. I'll get a blowtorch. That was a lovely tip I had last time. Because I have done um I've done lasagnas before, and I've done the um, a comparison with the luxury ones, MS, Aldi luxury ones. Um, and that'll be in um, I've got a comparison playlist for all the videos that I have done going against each other they'll be in there so if you like the video give it a thumbs up and um, if you've not subscribed to the channel then maybe consider subscribing it does help the channel and let me know your thoughts on the old um, lasagna I know making your own is the best isn't it it really is you can't go wrong making your own lasagna loads of cheese you know what's going in them but these are on offer in our supermarkets and we have to do them the budget lasagnas so let's um, get into them I'm gonna get them out now. I'm gonna gonna see what they like. <laughs> so that, that's the whole idea of doing this. <laughs> to, to see what they like, see which the best, which you think's the best looking. I've gonna I've got a knife. I'm gonna just take the edge off first. That's not too bad. That's not too bad. That one. I don't know cross contamination, so I'm gonna use a knife for this one. What I have noticed with the Asda one. Oh, it's not sticking, is it? Is that the old um, pasta crust here has gone a bit hard because it's sticking out because it's so loosely put together. Um, so let's get into this now. I hope you can see okay. Yeah, you can see. I've got the old... Uh, I've got this here. I'm going to try and get it out in one. If I can. There it is. That's good. Smelling good as well. It really is. I do with some bread and butter here and mop that up. <laughs> hey, I've even got a new, I've even got another, another one here for this one, so we don't get any cross contamination. See if I can get that out. 
Yeah, it's come out. This one's a bit redder, I've noticed, than the Tesco one. The Asda one's a bit redder. The old um, sauce. Right, I'm just going to get into that. I'm just going to try it and then I'm going to open it up and I'm going to show you what it's like inside because you need to know these things, don't you? There it is. There's the Tesco one. Got a feeling this is going to be red hot. That's nice, I like that. It's got herbs in it as well, and I know normally I'm not a massive fan of herbs, but however, that that is quite nice, it really is. It's getting very serious on the uh, on here now, isn't it? <laughs> or is it? That was quite tasty that, I'll be honest. That Tesco one was quite tasty. Let's get into the um as that. As the, as the one, and then I'll like you say, I'll, I'll get them open up and we'll have a look inside. Sort of pretty much the same, sort of same um, forkful. Mm. That one's tasty as well. <laughs> nothing wrong with that nothing wrong with either of them I'll be honest there really isn't I'm going to open them up now I want to have a look inside and show you um, I hope you can see okay there um, I know there's only 14% beef in it so it's going to be really really thin on the ground so we've got one, two we've got three pasta three pasta sort of sheets You've got onion, obviously the beef is 14% in there. Looks like a bit of carrot. Or to sorry, tomato, isn't it? Not carrot, tomato. <laughs> That's spaghetti bolognese. So let's open this one up now, the Asda one. You can have a look in there. So we've got one, one, two. We've got three, three sheets again. I mean, they're pretty much... They're pretty much the same, I'll be honest. There seems to be less herbs in the Asda one. But, and it's redder as well. But obviously the beef in it is very sporadic, isn't it? I mean, sparse is the word, I think. 14% minced beef. But they're both tasty. This one is a bit more herby, eh? I'll be honest, you can see the herbs in it there, look. I'm not a massive fan, but it works with this one. It really does. There they are, look. It's, there's lots in there. There is a few in the Asda one as well. But not as many. Looks a bit, yeah, that's that's yeah, that's that's what it's like. I mean there's the old Tesco one. <laughs> so be careful with the old crust going hard. That was hard then. Could have smashed my teeth to smithereens. <laughs> But when it goes hard on the top and crisp, the cheese is lovely, isn't it? Crispy cheese, sort of tinged a bit, takes it to another level. It's another different flavour. Got to watch these teeth, the veneers. They're not mine. Well, they are mine. I've paid for them. <laughs> I got loads of comments on my teeth. Anyway, let's let's one more try of the old um, the old uh, as the one. It comes down to your preference, I'll be honest. They're both tasty. There's nothing wrong with them at all. Mm. It's lovely though. They're both, they're, they're both really good. I can't fault them both for the price. The winner for me is Tesco. It's 75 pence. It's 75p versus 90 pence. It's 15 pence cheaper and it's tasty. You've got to like herbs though, there's quite a few in there. However, the Asda one is, is tasty as well. It's up to you folks, it really is. Thanks very much for watching. I've done a, I've done a luxury one, if you want to have a look at that in my playlist. Uh, comparisons, lasagna. And hopefully, go, all going well, I'll see you Friday night, or, or I'll see you on the next video. Um, 
going live. If, if you've never been on me, one of my lives, tune in at eight o'clock Friday night and we'll have a good time. We'll let our air down and we'll have a good time because that's what it's all about, isn't it? So thanks for watching. Do appreciate it. Thanks for joining and joining the membership. Um, please take care. All the best. And I'll catch you on the next one.